guys, so today I'm gonna start getting ready for the day. I'm gonna take, I'm supposed to take my little brother to the arcade. So I'm starting to get ready. And I thought it'd be a good time to do a review of my three new Deffy Style products. Uh, the setting powder, the Blue Blood palette, and the Magic Star Concealer. So I have all three of these products now. And I'm super duper excited. So I thought it'd be a fun time to do a review on all of these products. So this is what the Magic Star Concealer looks like. I got it in C20 and I think I might have gotten it a little too dark but I could if I did I can use it for concealing um, I mean not for concealer but uh, for bronzing or something um, if I did choose a darker two shade a too darker of a shade I can't talk but um, I had to order online I, I'm unable to go two hours away to my Morphe store so I just had to go online and do the shade I thought would look best and then in the powder it looks like this and this is super cute when you open it it's gonna look like this and I did start to film this video yes was it yesterday um like two days ago and um my camera died on me and so here I am filming it, so I have already played with these products, and so I kind of already have a feel, but I didn't really get to finish it, and I haven't actually worn, tested, like, done a one test yet, and that's what I'm going to do today and tomorrow, so that's as well as it's going to be in this video. But it looks like this, what you do is you just push it over to open it, and then you can do the same thing to close it. I kind of like that idea, but it did kind of get messy anyway. Um, but you want to say hi, Blackie? You want to say hi to the people? You want to say hi? He wants to say hi. Blackie wants to say hi. Go play. And then I think everybody knows what the blue blood is, but if you don't, it's like a coffin styled palette. It has blue blood and white, the Deffy Star logo, all these cute little designs. And here's what the color looks like, and all beautiful. Today, I'm going to try to do a maybe not so colorful, but kind of colorful, because I am going to an arcade. But either way, I'm going to like my look. So. I'm gonna go ahead and do my foundation, my bronzing off, off camera, um, but I'll show you guys when I put on the setting powder. If you were wondering what foundation I like to use, I like to use the Fenty Beauty, but I am unfortunately always, can't always purchase it, so I usually stick with the e.l.f. because it's like six bucks, and I do nude, and sand. That's the foundation that I use. And I will also be using a um, new setting spray in this video. Using the Wet and Wild um, Natural Finish setting spray today. It's like a really small one than what I'm used to. Because I am used to the hard candy one and my Smashbox. I really love my Smashbox. And it's almost gone. And I just haven't bought another one, and I need to see if it's available. Because it was like a, um, a collaboration with Nicole Concilio. So I need to look on the website and see if that one is still available. Well, in this video, I'll be using my Jeffree Star Morphe brushes. This is the JS1. This is what I'm going to use to put on my foundation. It is dirty because I used it yesterday and I just haven't cleaned them today so I'm gonna clean them after this use after this video I put on my foundation so now we're gonna put on the concealer and I will do a swatch for you guys and this is what the doper applicator looks like hopefully it's in focus 
but it's really like you could get into little spaces I like that and in the middle he said it's supposed to hold a lot of extra product so you could easily do one swipe and be good so that's a good thing so let's see how that actually goes we are going to just I'm gonna normal I'm gonna conceal how I normally would which I do in my eye the side of my nose on top of my nose because I get like I have like redness there I feel like so I always just as well under my nose and then on my tan up here on the forehead my eyelids because I have redness there too I don't, I think it's a little too dark, but, um, I can always just get a new shade if I wanted to, so we're going to see how I like it, because the other day when I did it, I used this new shade of foundation that I used, and I didn't like it, how it looked with it, and I used the buff, when I usually use sand and nude, and so I didn't like how that looked. I didn't like how that shade of foundation looked on me, so we're going to do my shade of how I normally do. I feel like I'm not making sense, but I'm trying to how to explain it. Okay, so we put that on. So, and it, it feels creamy. And it doesn't feel like tacky and all that kind of stuff. So, it feels creamy. It feels great on my skin. And so we're just going to blend it. blends easily I feel like in my perspective of it see it doesn't look bad once it's like blended like the shade way like the shade for me at least um but I feel like I'm gonna have to get a different shade as again because love you so now it is time for the powder and for the powder, it does have a really strong smell. Like, I don't know if it's going to have a small, a small, a strong smell this time. But when I first opened it, and I first used it on that first try of filming this video, it was really strong. But it smelled good. It smelled like candy and cotton candy. Um, so we're going to see how it does this time. We're just going to um, pour some into the cap. And this is what it looks like. Oops. So we are going to put it on our under eye. Maybe in all of our areas where we concealed, of course. I'm looking for my mirror. I just had it. Ha <laughs> So we're just going to do it like that. I don't usually use this for my powder. I just use my JS2. So I think that's what I'm going to do because I don't like how that looks. So we're just going to do that. Yeah, it still has that smell. To me, um, <coughs> especially when I put it on my nose, um, but it's not like a bad thing, so, yeah, we just put it all over where we did our concealer, and it does not look bad, it feels kind of like, we're just going to put my excess powder, what's all over my brush, all over. 
I think I chose too light of a shade of the powder. I did topaz and I should have gone with like, I think it was a beige and um, what was that on? Translucent? Yeah. Um, so I'm going to pick a different shade. I feel like I just, yeah, I just picked up a little bit more powder because I wanted a little bit more powder. But that's just my. Doesn't mean you have to. Um, it doesn't look bad though, so I might actually not get a different shade of powder. But I feel like it left a little bit of residue right there. Can you see that? A little bit of right residue right there. And it's on this side too where my under eye is. Um, so. But the rest of the face looks good. And for the concealer, I can still see some of my dark spots right there. So, um, I don't know if it's because of the shade or the concealer, but, um, sometimes I, I can, I'm used to that. And then my lines right there, I'm used to that. So it's not that big of a difference, but, um, I feel like it made my under eyes darker, but it also could be the other shade that I chose. So, I will do another review of the concealer and powder once I get different shades. Because today, it might just be because of the shades, you know. So, but it does not look bad. Like, it doesn't feel bad. And it doesn't feel weird. It's just... Color, because of the shade, maybe. But, yeah. Maybe we'll see how we look at the end. And then maybe finally get to the full look. So, I'm going to do my bronzing. And... Bonding off camera. Okay. Bonding, I'm going to use the Cocoa Face Palette. <coughs> yeah. And it's almost gone as well. I need a new one. I'll just buy one of the bronzers. <laughs> now we're going to use the Blue Bit Palette now that I did my blush and my bonding. So, um, I haven't even thought about what kind of look I want to do today. Like, I'm more of a, uh, like, I don't even. Like, I hadn't even thought about what kind of look I want to do yet today. Maybe more of a natural, maybe kind of a colorful. Because I am also going to an arcade with a lot of kids. So I don't need to be, like, too glammed out. But I don't know what else I'm doing today. So I kind of want to be glammed out, too, at the same time. Um, so let's just see where we go. So I am going to use my JS5. And I am going to use the shade Celebrity Skin. Right here. To put it all over the lid. Uh-huh. And just put that shit all over the lid. And it is like a little bit of fallout, but it's not like a big deal. It's not bad. So. Okay, the next color for the crease, I think. I want to use. I want to use. I'm cold. I'm going to use I'm cold for the crease and I'm going to use my Jaclyn Hill X Morphe in the J JH42 no that's the wrong brush fucking my For the crease, I'm going to use the J840 brush from the Jaclyn Hill X Morphe collaboration. And I'm going to use, I'm cold, all over the crease. Is 
like hot in my room. Oh my goodness, you guys. And so, I'm excited to see what's going to happen today. I'm just supposed to take my little brother to the arcade. So, I'm getting ready for the day. Even though it's like 1 o'clock. I got up at 12, unfortunately. I slept in way too late. I honestly hate when I do that because that kind of messes up my day. But... There you go. That's what ice cold looks like on the face. So now I'm going to just make it a little bit darker. So I am going to use the shade Flourishing right here. Flourishing right here. Just to deepen it up a little bit. There you go. So now for the lid. The crystal flesh. I want to use crystal flesh on the lid. Just so we don't have too much color today. Because, you know. Kind of go not kind of natural, but kind of glam. If that makes sense. And I'm just going to do a little bit more uh, as cold on top. Hi, Jersey. And then I did a little bit more of flourishing as well. Just to kind of blend it out and make it like come together what do you guys think good no I like it uh, the crystal flesh just a tiny bit <laughs> there you go I want to I'm just gonna go in a little bit with flourishing on the other eye, under eye. So now I'm just kind of blending it out with the DH30. What do you guys think? Use the defining, put the defining brush to do my inner um, tear duct right there. And I am, I normally use my Cali Cosmetics Naughty Palette for my inner corner right there, but today we're not gonna do that, unfortunately. So we will do. The shade Coronan? Coronan? Yeah, that, that shade right there. And I'm also, with that shade as well, I'm going to highlight my um, eyeballs, my under, under my eyeballs. But we haven't done my eyeballs yet, so we'll do that off camera and then I'll show you guys me highlighting it. I have been playing with this playing with this palette ever since I got it and the shades really do pop they have pigmentation they're creamy they're soft and there is a little bit of cake back in the pan but that's not bad but it's not like a cake back it'll fall out on your face unless you put too much but so far I'm liking my look today let me just do my eyebrows off camera and we'll be right back so I did my eyebrows so now I'm going to highlight the underneath of my eyebrows with the um, with this shade. I 
I, I need a new camera. I really wish my camera I have now had a um, viewfinder. So, so I know if I'm in focus, if I'm in frame. So I just put a camera, I mean like a mirror by me. Is what I do. So I put a little too much. So what I'm going to do is use the JH30 just to kind of blend it out and not make it so, you know. Yeah, I think I'll put a little bit too much on it today. <laughs> but I can just keep blending it out to, to defuse it. But it's not too bad. Not too, too terrible. It is for lips and highlight. And it is only fair that we use Jeffree Star for the highlight and lips. For the for the highlight, I'm going to use my liquid frost and frost bite. This is what it looks like in frost bite. And then for my lips, I'm going to use Family Jewels from the mini lip set. So first we're going to apply the skin frost, so we're gonna one, two, three, and then I just put it on here, and I'm just going to put it here like this, same on both sides. And then we're going to like blend it out. Also with this um, highlight, I feel like it takes off some of my product, but not much. Um, but I still like it. I don't know why, even though it takes off, I feel like it does. But um, it still takes off some of the product. Uh, my, my foundation but um just trying to blend it out I always feel like one shade one side is shinier than the other side. <laughs> or is that just me? I feel like that's always happens to me. One side is highlighter. It's more highlighted than the other side. So now we're going to use Family Jewels on the lips. And this is Family Jewels on the lips. So now we're going to go do my hair and pick out an outfit and I'll be right back. So this is what the look looks like. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section below. So you guys, I decided to just do this updo look. Can you see it? Hopefully. Hopefully it is in fame. And I decided to run my, uh, I decided to run my tack on top and t-shirt. And some just blue jeans is what I did. So that's my look for today, you guys. Hopefully it's not a little too much for a casual day or whatever. But this is what I like to wear a lot. I like to be glammed no matter what I'm wearing. So that's just how I am. Sometimes I do a little bit more natural than the blues. This is the first time I have ever really started to wear blue. And it's only because I have the blue blood palette. Um, but yeah, it's still a really, really pretty palette. I don't know how often I will be using it because of how bright all the colors are, but they're so beautiful. But um, it's just not going to go with everything, you know. But some things it will, and it's going to really be helpful with cosplay and stuff like that too, I think. Um, 
because I'm getting into cosplay as well. Um, so stay tuned for a Vim. Like, I want to test out a Vim makeup look in a couple days before Akon. Because I think we have a month or so until Akon. So I want to do a video like that for you guys. And show you guys the outfit and the rig all together. I just I still need to get the leggings and the black blouse and another headpiece. So that's all I need to do. So stay tuned for those videos. And well, at least that's the plan. So I'm sorry if it ends up not happening, but that's my plan as of right now. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Enjoy this review. It's not the best, but I tried. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know your thoughts on the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe. Turn on that notification bell to be notified when I upload a new video. Because YouTube likes to be, you know. And to give the video a like. Hope you guys enjoy. I will see you guys in the next video. I love you guys.